In the FRCA OSCE, there are two stations that feature a SIM man to simulate a clinical situation. These are the simulation station and the interactive resuscitation station. In this example, we will illustrate the interactive resuscitation station with the aim of showing a candidate what to expect when entering the station. The interactive resuscitation station is designed to replicate a clinical scenario and requires you to demonstrate assessment and management of a patient requiring resuscitation according to the UK resuscitation guidelines. When entering the station, you can expect to see the following people. In most stations, there will be a uniformed RTO who will assist you during the scenario and is there to give medical support and assistance should the situation dictate. The mannequin will already be set up in the station. Please note that familiarity with a Leardell brand mannequin is neither essential nor advantageous to a candidate's potential to successfully pass the simulation or interactive resus stations. Similarly, the other equipment featured in these stations is intended to simulate a clinical situation and brand or model specific knowledge is not expected or required. There will be an examiner seated to the right of the mannequin who is managing the mannequin's responses to your actions and helping ensure fair marking. And there will be an examiner in the station who will be leading the scenario and asking you questions. Thanks for coming to help. Um, this is our patient and as you read he's been brought into the emergency department by the ambulance crew. What rhythm is he in? Um, could you pause CPR for a moment please? Ventricular fibrillation. The candidate correctly asks CPR to be stopped to avoid misinterpretation of CPR artifact and to ascertain the patient's rhythm. The candidate correctly identifies ventricular fibrillation. What ratio of breaths to compression should we be using? Uh, as the patient is intubated, continuous compressions. What should be our next action? Defibrillation. Would you please go ahead and defibrillate this patient? Sure. Um, please continue CPR. I'll begin by attaching the defibrillator. Turn the defibrillator on to 150 joules. Um, could I have CPR continue, please, but everybody else stand clear, and could I have oxygen away? Thank you. Charging. Okay. Everybody stand clear. Shocking. Please continue CPR. And could we continue to ventilate, please? I now have some questions about ventricular fibrillation, so would you please stop the CPR? The candidate correctly identifies that defibrillation is required and correctly selects the appropriate energy level, delivering the shock within five seconds of suspending CPR. The candidate correctly recommences CPR as soon as possible after delivery of the shock and without rechecking the rhythm or feeling for a pulse. Thanks for coming to help. Um, this is our patient, and as you read, he's been brought into the emergency department by the ambulance crew. Um, what rhythm is he in? That looks like ventricular tachycardia. This is incorrect. What ratio of breaths to compressions should we be using? Um, two breaths to every 30 compressions. Since an advanced airway is in situ, and thus ventilation should be continuous, this is incorrect. Would you like to explain what you're doing? Absolutely. Um, so I'm attaching the defibrillator to the patient. Turning the defibrillator on. Please continue CPR. OK. Please continue CPR. Charging. Please stop CPR. And shocking. Stop. Oh. 
sorry. The defibrillator is live and delivers electricity as prescribed, so caution is required, as per real life. The candidate has failed to ask the assistant to stand back from the table on this occasion. This constitutes dangerous practice. OK, that's the end of the uh, station. If you wait a few moments, then you can move on to the next one, OK? Could I just ask, was that VF or VT? Uh, we can't comment on the specifics of the scenario. The examiner cannot comment on a candidate's performance or on any other details of the scenario. Many scenarios end with some theoretical questions related to the simulation station and may not involve further interaction with the mannequin. The examiner will make it clear that interaction with the mannequin is no longer required and that further questions are being asked without involving the sim man. It's not uncommon for the station to finish before the allocated five minutes. Once the examiner has finished questioning you, you will not be permitted to go back to something you think you may have missed. The examiner cannot comment on a candidate's performance or on any other details of the scenario. If you feel that you have not performed as well as you would have liked, Remember that there are no killer stations in the OSCE and no candidate passes every station. Once you have finished a particular station, try not to dwell on it. Put it out of your mind and move on to the next station.